another what's inside video Logitech M705 mouse what's inside cover another cover close together like that what's inside uh, this was messed up on it I tried to take take it all apart and fix it, it kind of works now look at that but it was just messed up and still, it's just nasty, this thing. Uh, I think that's your clicky contacts, yeah. Those are switches. Should I save those? I don't know. Save a mouse, rebuild the mouse, the motherboard. Uh, what's the sensor? Sensor is right there. Cool, huh? Is it really that cool? I don't think it's that cool. What's inside? What's inside? Yeah, now it works now. That's funny. You just gotta throw it on the ground. Yeah, it's still messed up. Yeah, something messed up in it with the, like, um, scroll wheels all over the place. I actually saved one, so one, one out of two is not bad. I have another one of these new one box, I think. But we gotta get rid of stuff. Too much hoard. Uh, what is that? Sensor. That's the whole freaking sensor with the, um, Ribbon cable. Save some parts. We gotta stop hoarding. I just like this stuff. What's inside though? Logitech M705. That's what's inside. Save the antenna because you can use the antenna and you can program it. I actually should have made a video how to do it. A lot of people don't know how to do it. It is super simple. I didn't know how to do it either. I was like, it's that easy when you lost the sensor to your thing or you want to program. I think you program it to five. You can program five mouses to the same sensor so you can screw with people. You can be in like another room and moving around the mouse and their mouse will be moving. And it does work. It goes across the house, the damn thing. And those places, the size of a uh, trailer. Which pretty much is the size of about a trailer. You kind of live in like a trailer park, but I don't. Alright. That's what's inside. Let me try to get some more parts. Should I save the contacts? I don't know. I could unside them off. The little tiny screws too are awesome. I'm keeping all of those. That's why I take stuff apart for basically for the hardware and running low on screws. I don't know how to get that uh, motherboard out. Trying and trying. Can't get it out. That's how far we can go. We're not advertising no fancy toolkit either. That's what is this? A double zero? And by dynamite. RC car stuff. I have a better one. The tip's kind of weak on it. And a shitty old Craftsman screwdriver used to win in our uh, car club. And all those guys are probably dead now. One of them at T84s. So I was thinking about reaching out for them. They're probably not of driving age. Maybe they still have them. I'll get their old t parts. This thing is messed up though. You say it's all... You can't get that board out though. It's really, really stuck in there. Before you, as you can go. It's good to take stuff apart though. Because you learn. I really wanted those contacts. But what the hell am I going to do with them? I just got it apart. One big pry. This one's shooting out. I guess it had screws holding it down. I don't even see these damn things. Yeah. Screws over there. And that's what's holding it down. Tiny screw. Interesting. Now, we will unsolder the clickers. There's three things. And then what you do when you're done, you put it all back together, kind of. And you put it in the road. And you let someone run over it, and you laugh when you see it squished. That's what I do. You can dispose of it if you want. Alright, we're going to do more of this. Because it's good to uh, take stuff apart. You figure out how it all works. Get an understanding. And um, you get a whole lot of screws. Which I need.